Hey y'all. These are the big six civil rights leaders. Now you can look at them and they look with their suits on and look prestigious and all of that. They were wicked as they come. They was the uh, the boule, which is the uh, black side of the Illuminati, if you want to call it the bottom of the barrel. These men are wicked as they come. Oh yeah, they took the bribe from Kennedy. He bought the black votes. That's how Kennedy won. $500,000. That's why our neighborhoods and things are the way they are and our schools are closing in the black community because of these leaders and especially Martin Luther King. See, Martin Luther King had a reputation of sleeping with white women. That's just a forest. The real deal was he was an alpha fraternity. No, I don't think he was dealing with white women up in the room. He was dealing with somebody else up in the room of the other sex. I told you it's going to get painful, baby. I told you it's going to get painful. The more you listen to me, the deeper and painful that these so-called black leaders get. Yeah, he was dealing in some same-sex things, man. And you know who knew? J. Edgar Hooger. That's why even the recordings came down. See, J. Edgar Hooger had, a, had something over his head. And that's why he was telling, that's why J. Edgar Hooger was angry at Martin King. He said, you know what? I'm going to tell, and you know J. Edgar Hooger was a homosexual. And he kept it over Martin King's head. He said, you know what? You wicked. He called him out. I'm going to tell your people who you really, really are. I'm going to expose you. And that's why they had the recordings in the room. They were trying to catch him in an uncompromising position with the opposite sex. Wasn't white women. That was just to keep his uh, legacy from being tarnished and torn. J. Edgar Hooger knew the real deal. And he threatened to expose him and say, man, come down from the seat. Stop leading your people, man, because you're not living right. I know you are you you're a switch hitter. I know you are. And that was the beef, y'all. That's what he had on over Martin Luther King's head. That he wasn't moving right out here. And all of them were involved, man, of destroying our neighborhoods. All of them. Look at them good. This is why our neighborhoods and communities are the way they are right now today. <laughs> Y'all stay woke, man.